Well, hello again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Minsk and Friends Eastern Bloc party with uh, Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl. See that symbol to the right there? It's a fork and spoon. You may guess what that means. We are hungry, which means I need to chow down on something. Uh, what do we got here? I believe Tourist Delight is the best food. You can't really see how much hunger meter you have, but I think that was the best one. Uh, it's still drizzling here. You may recall we had a huge fight here in the vehicle graveyard. We saved the coolest guy in the zone. There he still is. That's not my binoculars. That's my binoculars. That dude who somehow survived the onslaught from the bandits. Everyone else died, including our guest giver, which means we failed the quest. Whoops. What was that guy's name? Timka. That's right. Timka Crowbar. Who was the bravest man around and kept fighting. Now, oops, that's not what I'm looking for. Not that either. I guess we'll hold on to the MP5 for now. Where's the 7? I don't know. Now, let's see, what are we doing right now? We are, of course, the marked one. We need to find this Strelok guy. He's, that's our ultimate quest. Defeat Strelok. We could go get a reward for killing a bandit leader, but that's way too much backtracking. Unfortunately, there was no fast travel in this first stalker. You really did have to run everywhere you needed to go, which some might say is admirable realism. Some might say is obnoxious. I kind of fall to the latter camp because I don't really care about realism that much in my video games. Actually, to be honest, you know, I've gone on the record when I play Skyrim and stuff. Um, uh, you know, I always try to travel without the fast travel just so I see what weird stuff I tumble across. In this game, you know, there's not much stuff to tumble across. It's it's if you if you've cleared an area, it's mainly tedium. I mean, mutants might have respawned there. There might be a random spawn of bandits, but it's not it's not that interesting. Anyway, so we need to kill Strelok. We need to meet with Sergi to learn about that, and we also need to steal those military documents in Agroprom Research Institute, which was what uh, our savior Sidorovich told us to do. Well, we owe that guy, so we might as well do it. But for now, we are hearing garbage. There's a rail depot where Sergi should be. We can go ask him about Straylock, but all before that, I promised we'd try to get this uh, stash hidden in this garbage here. So, put the goodies on the pile of trash in the pipe. And... As I explained last time, these piles of rubbish here are filled to the brim with um, filled to the brim with um, radioactive material. So the closer you get to those piles, the more radiation you accumulate. So I'm going to have equip this an anti-radiation artifact, and I'm going to make a run for the. I said I'm going to make a. There it is. A run for the stash. So it's a pipe. Oh god. Meter's going crazy. It's such a bad idea. Oh, there's the stash. That pipe. Okay, it's some anomaly uh, artifact. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, good. Run, 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 run. We're in yellow. We're in yellow. Oh, our health is draining. Oh, crap. Okay. Unfortunately, do I have... Yes, I have some anti... Radiation medicine stuff. There we pop that, and I think we can take this anomaly off now as well. All right, we did it. Phew, without getting terribly hurt in the process. That feels good. So let's check what the an artifact we recovered is. Wrenched. Okay. Hmm. So this one is less rupture damage, which means attacks from melee attacks from animals. Less damage from those, but again, it causes radiation to accumulate, so we would need to have this here. We could... I don't know, I'm gonna hold on, because these are not huge boosts to the stats, so I think I'm not gonna do those yet. Let's check the map real quick, are there any other interesting stashes around here? You know about one to the north, and another pile of crap, but, um... And also one over there. Hmm. Bit of a ways off. But for now, let's just get on and try to find Sergi. 
learn about Straylock, shall we? Gotta focus on the big picture. I mean, honestly, we don't have much of a big picture since we're an amnesiac guy, but uh, I wonder what our ranking is at this point. Oh, wow, we, I think we've improved. I think we were like, uh, let's like 700 something before, but we've gotten better over time. Um, 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 um. That's absolutely a bandit ambush. It's kind of bad. Dang, I was hoping I'd just... Alright then. Big gun it is. Headshot. Four guys on our little icon there, which means there's four bandits entrenched in there. That was a grenade he tossed. Not a good toss, buddy. Like, why don't we get in on that? How far can we toss? That was pretty far. Oh, nice. Didn't kill anyone, though. Doesn't... Oh! That was also a good toss. God damn, these guys take a lot of shots. If I could get a headshot, they would just drop. Ooh, shotgun, dude. Aw, oh, shit. That was close enough for a headshot. But we've still got, I think, three bandits around here somewhere. There's the last two. Well, Wrath 3, really, but, uh... Oh, shit, that's a problem. He's, uh, in the bushes. Oh, I'm almost out of ammo. That's not good. I had to give the... Silas pistol a go. And hope that these boys have some MP5 ammo on them. Where's the MP5 ammo? Uh... Nine times 19 full metal jacket. Uh... That's the wrong, that's pistol ammo. I got plenty of that, so... No dice. Okay, and as you can see, we are finding out about stashes on these guys' PDAs, so... It's all good. Tionka Dumpling. The, the random names for characters in this game is... Quite funny at times. Ooh. Perfect bandages. Or health stuff. I used up a lot of bandages in that fight. What is this? Oh, perfect. Ammo for our MP7. So we actually have a little more ammo than we began with, I think. Or we're close to. It's almost plus minus zero. Ooh, this guy had an artifact on him. Stone blood. So that one increases, doubles your health, but you take a little bit more damage from it. However, there's no radiation, so that is a really good deal. I'm gonna equip that fort with. I really like that. I mean, these are like two really good artifacts we have going on right now, I feel like. Although we do take now negative for electric shock, impact. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, I kind of don't want to put on these though. I'll, I'll take my chances. I mean, bulletproof caps the one I'm most afraid of, which we're still kind of on positive because... Um, Guys with guns are our biggest threat in the game. Nada. I just thought I heard a helicopter there a second ago. Could also be machine gun fire. Uh, who knows? Sausage. Would be good. It was a good roadblock, but uh, you guys didn't quite make it. Now, as you can see, we were having firefights fairly far away. I kind of want to get a real rifle at this point. Oh! Shit! Speak of the devil. Now we don't have a... L oh, I do actually have a lot of ammo for that, so never mind then. I'll hold on to the MP5 for a while longer because my weight limit isn't really that bad yet, but... Um, but uh, I'm gonna switch this assault rifle because, again, I prefer the range. Um... 
the MP5 is a submachine gun, so that's kind of bad for a ranged fight just now. Someone's having a party. What's that? That's an anomaly in the air. I can sell that off. Oh, I hope that's not Sergi who was just calling that. It's totally gonna be Sergi, isn't it? Oh, I should be careful. There's anomalies here. <laughs> Shit, what is going on over here? It's a good thing we got this new gun. Uh huh. So that's what's going on. Looks like Seri is in trouble. We got a couple of bandits in here. Vadya death sounds pretty scary. We're gonna. Hey. Oh shit! Here, get up, dude. We need all the guns we can get on these bad guys. There's a guy right there. All right. Ooh, grenade. That's, what is going on? I didn't mean to use a medkit. I meant to use a... Do not shove me to the... Oh, my God. Oh, God. And now Sergei's dead. This is embarrassing. First best and now Sergei. Well, how the hell are we going to find Strelok now? That was our only lead to find Strelok. And now he is... Now he is dead guy. Well. Damned if I can't make these guys pay for it though. <clears throat> Let's see. I guess I'll take some more. Because I might end up having to use the... I don't know. I'm doing pretty... Actually really good on ammo for... The... Assault rifle. The AK. So I don't know if I need all this... Ammo for the submachine gun. I might be ditching that pretty soon, but I'll hold on to it for a while longer, I guess. Okay. Who are our contacts right now? Oh, there's one bandit still somewhere. That's kind of bad. These guys are just waltzing around here all calmly. Calm like, that's not good. Oh, I can't believe out of all the stalkers here, it had to be Sergi who took the bullet. Oh, Sergi. Molen Co. moused out Strelok's stash at the Agroprom, not far from the Derelict factory. Why don't you go find out what's... Hang on. What did that say? Got Fox's PDA, but is there... Is there, uh... Nothing from meeting Sergi. Uh, Sergi sent me to meet a stalker called Mole, who apparently knows the location of Strelok's secret stash. Not much, but it is... Okay... Message history. Oh, here we can review. Mole and Cole moused out Sherlock's stash at the Agroprom, not far from the derelict factory. Why don't you go and find out what's going on there? After all, he invited us to join the search. Well, thank goodness he had this PDA written here, so... Uh, <laughs> he had these notes written in his PDA, so we um, we found out our next... Our next breadcrumb in this trail after Sherlock is some guy called Mole. All right, then. So this game is pretty brutal, you know, as you can see, we've had Best die, we've had Sergi die, and they were, like, main quest NPCs. But it's impossible to lose the trail on the main quest, because you can always loot these PDFs off of the, um, off of the, uh, off of the guys if they die. I mean, it'd be nice if you could talk to them, because there's a really funny line of dialogue, the guys survive, um, they go, like, well done, everybody. And uh, hey, stalker, come over here. Let's have a chat. He says it like super creepily, like let's have a chat. And the funny thing is that um, because this game doesn't have much recorded dialogue, so the first guy who says that is just Bess, the guy who was in the vehicle graveyard. He'll just be like, "Come over here, stalker. Let's have a chat." But then if you come here and save Sergi, he they use the exact same voice clip. So right after saving Best, you hear Sergi do the same thing. Let's have a chat. Which I find terribly amusing. But um, anyway, fortunately, the main quest is not ruined by my 
Well, honestly, it's not really my fault that much. This, this is just as a brutal game. NPCs die very easily in the world of Shadow of Chernobyl, so I'm not even blaming myself on this this failure. But yeah, anyway, you can loot there. Loot there. Uh, hold on, our contacts increased. Oh, 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 God! Way more bandits incoming. Oh dear, are they along the rail tracks? Maybe. Is that a human? That is totally a human. Oh boy. So let's see. So yeah, that's the road to Agroprom, which we have to go to next, where we'll find. Let's see. Where we'll find the. Uh, what are we gonna find? Oh, information about mole. Mole, huh? Well, isn't this fortuitous? Mole is in the same direction as the military document, so we have no reason not to go to Agroprom then. <laughs> Anyway, what else did I have here? Um, and of course, if Mole dies, we should be able to loot the information off of his PDA. Although I sure hope at least I can one of these imported NPCs I can save in my little adventure. No bother. Okay, one of the contacts disappeared, so those bandits are moving around. We saw the one guy. Far up over there, taking cover, and hold on, there's an indicator somewhere, huh? I think our weird human sensor sensed something on our binoculars. Maybe? I'm not sure, there might be another guy. Well, obviously there has to be some other guys there. Before we go in hot, let's just review our notes real quickly. What do we know about the zone so far? We got low information about all sorts of creatures, for example, the wildlife. We know about the crows and the rats here, which aren't really a problem. The dogs are a bit of a problem. They're blind, but they have a good sense of smell. We've already fought a few packs. We haven't run into the boars yet. They're a bit bigger problems. And these are all basically mutated, but not hugely so. But then there's the flesh. Ooh, that's a pretty guy. So this is a domestic pig horribly mutated by the radiation and also the anomaly of course because in real life radiation doesn't ch change you into a weird freaky monster but since there's supernatural stuff going on here that's what happened to the pigs they became these things called fleshes which are quite dangerous you can see they're an omnivore and may attack a stalker if hungry great is there anything interesting other information we've learned while Traveling. We got information on all sorts of artifacts, but that's not that interesting. All sorts of anomalies here, of which I still don't remember which one. A lot of these are very similar in effect, and they also look the same. They're like weird, weird like kind of aerial distortions. But some of them have really funny effects. I can't tell. I'm not sure which one. So one of them is like, I think this is the best one because it sucks you into the air, spins you around, and you like a pop pop but um because you can see sometimes mutants wander into them and even stalkers sometimes or yourself if you're <laughs> not careful the vortex is the most dangerous because it sucks you inwards all the time so it's incredibly difficult to escape from so we've learned about we already learned about duty very briefly when we were at Sidorovich we looked at the faction thing obviously there's the bandits here then we have the army, the Ukrainian military, trying to keep order here and keep hippies from coming in and traversing around and adventuring and stuff. <laughs> As you can see, there's regular armies and then there are Spetsnaz. The Ukrainian Spetsnaz are the special units, which I haven't run into those yet. The guys in the roadblock were regular army guys. Then there's duty. So these guys are not with their military, they're just a bunch of stalkers, but... They are the sort of the <clears throat> the sort of lawful neutral um, faction of the game. They live according to a strict code. They have decided that the zone is dangerous, and they're not like shoot on sight like um, the military. So they tolerate other stalkers, but they are they feel that the, the control of the zone the zone should be controlled who uses it, and they um, pass on artifacts to the scientists only and they try to protect the outside world from the zone so and they also kill monsters so they're not as shoot on sight as the army but they are kind of like very strict kind of military style and they have a big war with someone called freedom which we don't know much about yet 
All right, that's enough. I was just trying to work out my courage here because we are running into what looks like a bandit roadblock. And if I was the smart guy, I wouldn't use the front door. That's what they'd be expecting. But uh, why don't we begin by going in? Oh, there's a guy right up there. Let's not use the use that after all because I can't I can't pitch that good. Got him. Oh yeah, that's a perfect place for bandit cover. Yeah, there's a really bad idea for me to come to the front door. Have some of this. Right there. I get the cover behind these pipes, I think. Jesus, this guy. Get him down. Where? Up there on the hill. Right. Ah, I think I quit winged him. Oh man, this guy. Finally down. Good. How many... How many? We got 17 bandages, that's fine. So we can be fairly liberal at bandages at this point of the game. Less so with med kits, but bandages, that's fine. Oh yeah, we got repair kits. What's my status on my AK? Oh, that condition's really good. I'm not gonna fix it up quite yet. I'm really good on that front. Hmm, we could check out the one stash. We're really close now. And I only got someone by the escalator. The backpack is in view, but hard to get to. Oh, that's tricky. Oh! Okay, let's not quite... Let's clear out the enemy before. Oh, I see. They sent a kill team in. To hunt me down. But, uh... I knew I'd be in trouble. There's still one guy, according to the radar and whatnot. Is he in the bushes? Oh, it may be the guy I put down. There we go. He was still, like, bleeding out there. So... And I had to do the humane thing and put him down. Okay. I'm actually getting high on my weight limit because ammo also weighs in this game. Uh, side effect of this trying to be a very realistic game in some aspects. I think I'm gonna pick up... I think that's the last I'm gonna pick up of um, ammo for the... MP5 for now. I'm just gonna focus on AK ammo now because I'm actually run out, running out. So it might be a good idea, good idea to keep the MP5 for a while longer. Although, spoiler alert, the next area we're gonna go to is gonna have a lot of guys with AKs. So we're not gonna have a problem on that front. AK was a godsend in this part though, seeing as um, those guys were at far range. So MP5 would have been quite a trouble to beat those guys with the MP5 there. Oh, shit. Here we are. We're in Anomaly Town. Okay. Let's just stay cool. Oh my god, a boar. Let's uh, swap guns real quick. Because, again, I think the shotgun is better for mutants. Backpack should be... If we're lucky, these uh, anomalies will trap the boar. It'll get too excited and come after me. I don't see a backpack. Oh, he's coming. Yo! Oh, there's two of you. Oh! Yeah, Boar got clipped and ran off. Good. Serves you right, buddy. Okay, let's just stay cool. What if I got... I can't get into the pipe. That was a good idea, but no dice. I do not see a backpack. It said the backpack is in sight, but... uh. I do not see any backpacks here. I oh, oof. I can't pull this off. I'm sorry to say. It's entrenched duty deep among the uh, among the uh, anomalies there. So we're gonna bail out on that stash for now. Instead, I'm gonna finish looting the uh, bandits I KO'd here. <laughs> KO'd, huh? Yeah. Uh, 
I checked these guys already. Yeah, that's right. So just the guys up here on this overpass. Now you may think this way goes to Agriprom, but that's actually a red herring. Uh, the path to... There's a creepy shadow there. I swear there was. The path to Agriprom is actually the road next to the rail tunnel. So yeah, we're not gonna go into the tunnel. Um, I got so much ammo for the shotgun, I'm not gonna pick that up either at this point. Because although you need to, you do need to collect ammo, be careful about that. You also need to be careful with uh, your um, weight of your equipment, so. What do we have here? A couple of anomalies, uh, sorry, a couple of artifacts, but no anomalies, alright. Now we are gonna make a big bucks once we get to a, uh, a, what you call it, the trader. We got a lot of anomalies here to sell off. We might be able to afford a better outfit for us. Which is kind of what I want, because outfits are really hard to find in this game. We were really lucky to find this bandit suit. Um, outfits are pretty hard to find in this game, and um, the best place is... I think the traders didn't have many outfits at first, but uh, the mod we're running added some, I believe, maybe. So, definitely, that's what I want to get from the traders. Guns and ammo are not nearly as much of a problem as you think, because, you know, you keep killing guys all the time. It only becomes a problem once you run into areas with lots of mutants, since uh, mutants don't really have guns. Is there a corpse over there? I did not check that corpse, I'm almost sure of it. Oh, it's radioactive, okay. Never mind then. Forget that corpse then. Okay, so... At this point it's obvious that whenever I record this game, it crashes when I transition through zones. So um, the video is going to have a skip right here as I travel to Agriprom, and I'll meet you on the other side. So, see you in a sec! <laughs> well, here we are in Agriprom, and you can hear military chatter going on because, oh my god, a pair of IDs! That's bad. Also, there's a stalker over there. He yelled, I'm still gonna go. We missed it, unfortunately, due to my cutting. That Mole's group is in danger. The military are attacking them. God damn it. No, I guess I should have guessed since the military documents are in Agriprom that there'd be military guys right around here, but uh. Oh, thank goodness that didn't kill my video, this cutscene. Oh my god, how am I gonna. How am I gonna save Mole after. It was just bandits when it was Bess and Sergi, and they died like, like scrubs. Now there's actual military guys coming after Mole. How am I gonna save him? Ah oh, shit! Only one way. I know, and that's we can charge. Let's save the game at this point. Just like that. Uh, I would move in if I were you, buddy. I, uh... Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a whole lot of military boys. Oh, there's stalkers too. So. Because that was a real big gun. Uh, this is a really bad time to ask about Strelok, I think. What is... Did they kill all the military on this side? Alright, good work, guys. Shit. Oh god, oh god. Eat it! Bingo! These guys all have AKs. In fact, they have a really good AK. Okay, situation's nominal, I guess. So this is an even better AK, the 74, than this uh, short one. So we're gonna equip that, and we're gonna actually drop this right now. Oh, I forgot to unload it. Oops. Careless of me.